The day I'd been running from all my life was fast approaching. The day of the disappointing 50th anniversary special. And all for one reason. Good evening, and welcome to the television news. The news on the telly. Latest big story. Stephen Moffat declared recently that no classic Doctor shall be appearing in the 50th anniversary special of Doctor Who. Here's what he had to say. We've got a proper bonkers 50th anniversary special this year. Uh, I just don't think that classic doctors are going to work. It's, they're, they're all fat and old, so it's, be, it's sort of beyond their dignity to, 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 to do this. Also, we, we got the great David Tennant in that, and everyone loves David Tennant. It's, it's the doctor that everyone wants back. It's, there's nothing... No one has ever complained about David Tennant. Everyone loves his doctor. And so, you know, it's a win-win situation, really. And to appease the classic fans, I mean, we've got the Zygons in. Like, that's really exciting. That's way better than Paul McGann. Hey, Billy. It's David here. You're still not answering your phone, so I thought I'd leave you a message. Everyone is really worried about you. I'm guessing this is about the Stephen Moffat thing, right? Listen, we're all really sad too, but it's time to face the facts. I know you've been really hoping that William Hartnell would make an appearance as a central character, but it's just not going to happen. He's, you know, just sort of dead, I'm afraid. And I googled how to resurrect someone, and you need to do all of these rituals and become an agent of Satan and stuff, which is something I'm really not comfortable with because he's already done me a favor by turning me back from being a Cybermat. He's gotta want my soul, Billy, and I'm not doing that. Anyways, hope we're alright. Chin up. Speak soon, pal. <laughs> That's it! Dear Stephen Moffat, or should I say, Idiot Moffat, why are you not bringing back William Harnell for the 50th? It's all about you, 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 isn't it? With your Matt Smith doctor and his stupid floppy hair. Well, in the words of the great nine, why don't you just die? You suck! You suck! You really, really, really suck! Yours sincerely, Billy Tracy. <laughs> John! Billy! I've got great news. Stephen Moffat has just mentioned us in an interview and, even better, he has nothing bad to say about our videos. I think he likes us. Ah, that's good. That's good news. Brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic, even. <laughs> Isn't it just? He even said he'd like to work with us next year because of our forthright thinking and fantastic creativity. I'm making the new title sequence. So... Theoretically, if I was to have sent a really angry letter to Stephen Moffat saying how much I hated him and his show, would that be a bad thing? Well, if that were true, Billy, I would rip off your arms and legs and feed them to your chickens. Then mash up your chickens and make you eat them. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. But anyway, take care. Bye now. Bye. Bye.
Say hello! <laughs> the inhabitants of the planet Garageo Storage are certainly a quiet folk and they can fit into the tightest of spaces. If there is anyone here, I have brought a gift from the planet Giraffos. Don't leave it out in the rain. It is notable for being made of paper and being utterly useless. <laughs> anyone? I am looking for a Terranus alien. So if anyone knows anything about it, then please notify me immediately. Never mind. Let's see who I can find. Doesn't seem to be any form of life. <gasps> Lord Gathgroth! Noted by all the nine galaxies for shoplifting and raspberry flavoured jelly. And I cannot have that. I like raspberry flavoured jelly. And if all the aliens in the cosmos were to shoplift it, there would be none left for me. <laughs> Hold on. You're not Lord Gargroth or whatever I called you at all. You're in disguise. But who could you be? Let's find out who the master villain is of this charade. Let's see who is behind the mask. The master villain is... Billy Tracy! No! <gasps> A terrifying thought had just occurred to me. Was I the bad guy in all of this? Could it be that a highly negative, hardcore fanbase severely limits the creative freedom that showrunners should be entitled to? I'm on a train. Regardless of my Freudian dream, I decided to continue my journey to the house of Stephen Moffat so that I could retrieve the letter I had just sent and maintain the good name of the Five Who Fans team. Well, according to the map, this is where Stephen Moffat lives. But this is my house! Which means that would make me Stephen Moffat. I'm Stephen Moffat. Oi, Billy, it's the voice of reason here. Um, you're not Stephen Moffat. You're back at your own house. You had the map upside down, you silly plum. Oh, okay. Cheers. I was holding it upside down. Okay, so this is definitely Stephen Moffat's house. Hold on. Isn't Stephen Moffat meant to have a family or something? Oh, okay. Aha! Did 
Time to get out of... explain why I'm here. Okay, see, I sent this uh, letter to you and I was very drunk when I wrote it, so don't take any of it seriously or anything. I might have criticised you a little bit, uh, but uh, it's, it's very flippant, the whole thing. Uh, I mean, something you could get from it, I suppose, is that maybe you're not doing everything right? Maybe? Um, just, uh, just a little thing, you know, uh, maybe if you'd had a William Hartnell in it or something. Uh, but, but that's sort of, but don't take it too seriously, okay? St Stephen, no, no, Stephen, Stephen. Oh, hey, Steve. Hold on, I, I swear it was a letter I posted. I don't remember posting a disc. Hold on. Oh no, I, I know what that is. Okay, instead of posting the letter by accident, I may have posted the disc by accident. Uh, you don't have to play that, Stephen, because I know what it is, and... Uh, it'll, mm, oh, he's playing it. Okay. Allow me to introduce myself. I am me. Now that I've introduced myself, who are you? My dear chap, I just want to hike! drunken state I'd sent Stephen something different, but that didn't matter. What was important was that I'd learned something on my humble quest, and that was that a negative hateful attitude will never get you far in life, as you'll tend to find yourself having to pick up the pieces as a consequence. And if you're going to be negative at all about something you love, at least be constructive in your criticisms, and at least be negative about something worth moaning about. Like Clara. No, seriously. Clara. Clara is an absolute mess of a character. She has no defining features. Her behaviour is inconsistent and dull. She is the blandest, most unrealistic, annoying companion this century. No, really. Uh, yeah, anyway. Food for thought.